Hello, my sweet creative souls. I'm your pen mother. And before we begin, let me say that I love and support all of you creative people out there. I say that because today we're going to talk about failure, which might not feel like much of a pep talk. You know, as I was writing the first go at this piece, I felt like I lost the thread, like it was awful. Failure is hard to experience and it's even harder to write about. So the first time around, I thought about telling you guys about Dr. Seuss. His first book was rejected 27 times before he finally found a publisher. I also thought about telling you about Thomas Edison. He failed more than a thousand times before he finally got the light bulb to work. He famously said, the light bulb was an invention with 1,000 steps. Those are pretty good stories about not giving up, but they're not really about failure at all. They're about success, aren't they? Late coming and hard won, but it's still success. So let's talk about failure. Let's talk about that book or that screenplay or that treatment that's sitting in your drawer. Maybe you shopped it everywhere to no avail. Maybe you put it away after only one scathing rejection. Maybe you know what's wrong with it, but you're not sure how to fix it, and you're tired of looking at it, and tired of thinking about it, and you just want it to go away, but you can't let it go. Here's what I want to say to you. It's okay to let it go. The effort to create it was enough. It doesn't have to go anywhere, or be anything, or even be any good, to be beautiful and worthwhile. The effort is enough. The act of making it is enough even if you ended up making it only for yourself. It's okay not to finish. It's okay to finish and hit a dead end when you try to put it out into the world. We have this terrible tendency in our culture to vilify failure. It kind of reminds me of the way we talk about cancer patients, like how a person lost or won their battle with cancer, as if cancer is some kind of a test of personal fortitude that you can pass or fail. Illness is not about failure or success. Life is not about failure or success. Writing is not about failure or success either. Writing is about creating. Sometimes what we create lives a long and fruitful life on the bestseller list. It spawns its awesome grandchildren, movies and merchandising and book tours. But sometimes what we create dies young, unjustly, unfairly, and for all the wrong reasons. That doesn't make it a failure. That means it was alive. It was present. It existed. And you created it. That is enough. It's okay to feel miserable when our projects falter or never fully live or die before their time. Take some time if you need it to say goodbye, to be sad about it. But I hope that you'll come back and keep creating, keep making stuff, keep writing. Because the point is not success or failure. Creation is the point, isn't it?